Hey guys, John from Shine On here. Today I'm going to show you four products that I built in the Shine On app specifically to use the artwork swapper feature. This is a great tool for adding customization to your products and allow customers to really get that personalized feel. Hopefully this will inspire you to get out from the norm and make some really creative products using this feature. Let's get into it. So I've got my four products here. We'll start off. I'm in the, the anniversary space niche as a year round niche that, that can be done. So this is a great product that you can leave up and be running year round. So this one is a, a very simple one, but it's a little different than what you might normally see with people changing their names, signing it, things of that nature. So in this one, what we're actually customizing is actually a date field. So people can come in here and put in a date. And you see it automatically appears right here. And that way, even if you have someone that's maybe, you know, writes their dates opposite of the way we do here in the US, they're able to do it themselves. So it matches how they're used to seeing it. So this is a real simple way to add a piece of customization that's not normally seen and is allowing the customer to, you know, add something to this product that will, you know, have an emotional tie-in. So this is a, a, a great product to show you how it's actually set up in the back end. There's a couple things that you have to do because you know what you see here is you're actually seeing in the pictures with you know with the message card you're actually seeing a date field that's been pre-filled so that people understand that there's a date field there and you know you might make a picture that has an arrow to it that says you know customize the date but the way we're doing that is I'm actually creating my background image has no date on it it's blank but when i create the product in the back end of shine on i'm adding the image to have a date so that it generates all my mock-ups using this but then once you get into the actual product personalizer there's no date in the background image then i'm just doing a simple text field setting the width you can set max characters so that, you know, maybe here it's, um, you know, only 10 characters. However many it needs to be, maybe 12. So you set that up and that's all you have to do. You can, you know, set your font. You can upload fonts as long as you get the right format. But this is a real simple way that, again, it's a little different than just having the names. So... It's a, you know, I consider it a good example. So moving on to the second product, this one has multiple points of personalization. So we're getting away from just one and we're allowing someone to add, you know, a couple different areas. So here you open it up and we've actually got the name. So, you know, you can type in a different name and again with this app it's actually showing up and i can say you know 27 years and it populates here so you know again it's another level of customization besides just putting in a name so you can say ellen you know you can say 27 years you know this is also great for mother's day because you do have a lot of you know you have mothers you have stepmothers you have all of that you know, you could customize something that says, you know, to the best blank, and they can go in and type mom, mum, stepmom, you know, whatever variation, and they can customize it themselves. But yeah, you know, a number field like years, great for anniversary. So then, again, this is a, you know, very basic design, but the effectiveness of being able to do the two customizations is what makes it so effective and then to show it again in the background I'm uploading it 
with a pre-filled background that I create. That way all of my mockups actually appear with custom areas in it. And so th this is gonna, you know, that's what you want to see. If they just see a blank, they're not going to know to put anything there. And I highly recommend doing the personalize it button rather than having the fields on the page. Because it just doesn't, I don't think it, the UI works as well. The third one is, you know, th this here is, you're getting to a point where you're really not making much. You know, it just says happy anniversary. And when I go to personalize it, I can type in an entire paragraph, you know, thanks for being my wife, you are the best. And, you know, here we can make multiple lines, but they're putting the entire message on the card now. All you're putting is happy anniversary at the top. I mean, if you really wanted to, you could create a header and a footer and they can type happy anniversary, happy birthday, whatever, and you're just creating the background for it. So there's a lot of customization that can be done with this. Final product that I have actually has, again, multiple personalizations, but we're also doing a photo upload, which is a huge factor for personalization that you're not going to see with other other products or other message card products specifically. So here, you know, okay, you can change the name, you know, um, and then you actually choose your file. Um, let's see if I have any photos laying around here. Let's just go with. Oh, where did I put it? There we go. We'll do this picture of me and my wife. It uploads, and then I can play with you know how big you want it, how much you know where you want it to be in the actual heart. So it's allowing them to really you know make and play with it. So it's just what they want like that and this will be rendered so you know buyer upload is huge you know I do a heart here the basic way you're doing this is this is a PNG and that's just a cut out of a heart so there's no background there I'll show you how you do this in the product customizer just because this one's a little more you know, involved. Again, this background image is, let me just show it to you. So this is just a PNG. This is cut out. There's no background in the heart. So you upload that file and once you're over here, you add dimensions. So you ha I have you know, a name here from name that's you know where it says John, a two name that's where it says Casey up here, and then you have add image. So, uh, you create the, the shape that you're going to want it to fill, and then what you can do is you can actually add in an example default image right here. That will show. Um, sometimes you could have directions on there that say, you know, image goes here, something of that nature. And then you actually put in where it's gonna, you know, what layer it's gonna be, whether it's gonna be over top of the background or underneath the background. Because I'm doing it inside the heart, I'm putting it underneath the background so that the heart will get printed over top of it. If I change this to top, it goes just like this. So doing it as bottom puts it behind that transparency and it will allow it to pop through. Again, same thing. You can you, know, you can put all of these customizations on one product. There are 
a lot of different types of options that you can do here uh, with the product personalizer that will help you to add that personalization factor that you know you just don't see on other message cards so I highly recommend getting in playing with the app it's gonna you know open you up to a whole new you know realm of possibilities the type of creatives that you can do in your ads are endless it's great to, for animated so in conclusion guys Go out, create products specifically with this personalization. Think outside the box. Try things that you haven't seen and know that that's what's going to give your product that extra value. Thanks for watching. Happy selling.